G'day, I'm John Hogan. This week, Superior Jetties is doing part of our educational series. And the topic this time, as in the past, refers somewhat to technical items that secure your waterfront infrastructure. Securing a floating dock anywhere can be done a number of ways. And we'll start with the simplest and work through. In order, we're able to put a seabed anchor off an existing fixed wooden jetty. That's the simplest way to put a floating device in. After that, if it's a separate unit, you could go for a cable. The next one would be a strut. After that, full-on piles, which is for heavy-duty commercial work, but also for domestic. And the last one we'll talk about are tethers. So there's five. Let's do the first. The first one, in the simplest way, if you have an existing fixed jetty, which many of the older homes on the waterways have, you don't have to throw it away. Oftentimes, they are inside the key line. A key line may be at 10 or 12 metres, the jetty may be at 8 or 10. This leaves an envelope in front of the jetty that you're able to put some modular docks, maybe 3 metres by 1 metres wide, two or three of them, and have a six or nine metre long medium duty floating unit with a seabed anchor that goes all the way into the seabed and is fixed to the timber jetty. A ladder can then be used to access this. This is ideal for a jet ski dock or a small runabout to allow people to tie up to a floating surface instead of having to put spring lines onto a fixed jetty. Simplest first access. Next one up, if you take a pontoon up to about 10 metres, you're able to secure this to the shore by using the gangway itself in compression. So what you mean by that is that the land anchors do all the work and we use wires to pull the pontoon back in against the gangway. One from each on the outside and a diagonal cross brace to stop it from moving, we call it in a parallel way, and stressing the gangway. This is the simplest way to be able to hold your pontoon without piling in the waterway and using a land anchor on land. So they're the first two, and that's enough for this week. And we'll come into the next section in stage two of the presentation on securing your floating structure. All the best.